Just over a week ago, smoke was still rising from the wreckage of Unit 3 at Japan's Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant, crippled since a massive earthquake and tsunami struck March 11th. The pictures supplied by the operator, Tokyo Electric Power Company, were taken from an unmanned helicopter. Now TEPCO has been probing the damaged building from the ground. It released pictures showing a robot exploring. This sequence shows the so-called pack bot, which looks like a drafting table lamp on treads, opening a door inside the reactor housing. The company says the radiation readings the robots have taken indicate the environment inside the building and the others that were explored Sunday remains too harsh for human workers to enter. TEPCO claims that won't alter its plans for stabilizing the stricken complex by the end of the year. Still in Parliament Monday, angry lawmakers frustrated over the slow response to the crisis were grilling officials, including TEPCO's president, who appeared visibly ill at ease. Masataka Shimizu did take the opportunity to say sorry once more. I again deeply apologize for causing so much trouble for residents near the complex. People in Fukushima and the public for the accident at Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, which resulted in releasing the radioactive material. Radioactivity has hampered efforts to retrieve bodies around the plant. Around a thousand of them are thought to be buried in and around the debris left by the tsunami. The defense ministry announced 2,500 soldiers would be joining police in the grim search. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.